Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we will be going over how to play disc golf in the snow and have fun doing so. Part 1. Clothing and footwear. In lighter snow conditions, your normal disc golf shoes will work if they are waterproof, have good traction, and are insulated. Meanwhile, if the snow is a bit heavier, you may need more heavy duty boots to keep your feet dry and warm. First up, we have our base layer. The base layer consists of skin-tight clothing made out of polyester or merino wool that wicks moisture and keeps you warm. A heavier base layer may be needed when the temperatures get frigid. The middle layer insulates your body, keeping you warm. Fleece and other synthetic materials or down feathers are your best bet. Use thicker materials as it gets colder. Technically, I am wearing two mid layers right now. If there is no wind blowing or snow falling, a hard shell is not necessary. In inclement weather, however, a hard waterproof and windproof shell may be needed. Try to stay away from bulky coats unless absolutely necessary. They will restrict movement and cause errant shots. Wool socks are crucial in cold temperatures. With unmatched insulation and wicking ability, your feet will stay warm even in the most frigid of conditions. Warm hands are the key to playing good disc golf. High quality insulated mittens provide more warmth than gloves. During bitterly cold rounds, Neck gaiters or balaclavas can save your face. When playing disc golf in the snow, the color and plastic of your disc can make a huge difference, but the temperature of your discs may make or break your round. During a snowy round, having the wrong colored disc can lead to frustration. On the left is a glow disc buried in the snow, and on the right is a neon yellow green disc commonly referred to as day glow. As you can see, the day glow shines through the snow. This means you should substitute your white discs. Those green discs you don't want to throw during the summer finally have their place. Firm plastics get even stiffer in the cold. Soft and gummy plastics will firm up into a more rigid consistency, being closer to what you're used to during the summer. Baseline plastics like DX or Pro-D can shatter on impact. So even though they may provide better grip in cold and wet conditions, be careful not to break your disc. Likewise, old premium plastics become brittle in the winter. Lastly, the temperature of your discs can make a huge difference. Room temperature discs will melt the snow on impact, causing it to stick to the disc and making you need to use way more towels. If you leave your discs in the cold a few hours before your round, you can avoid this and not need as many towels. However, in temperatures around freezing, 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, nothing's going to make a difference. We'll start this section off with one of my biggest pet peeves. Please do not tee off from tee pads that are unshoveled. This will create ice that will be impossible to scrape off. So the next time you play disc golf in the snow, bring a shovel so that you and everybody after you has good footing. When playing a round of disc golf in the snow, always throw one shot per hole unless you are absolutely positive you know where it went. If you can't find your disc initially, look for the tracks it left in the snow. In very deep snow or around blind corners, you may have to have someone run up ahead to spot. Hand warmers are a must have when the temperatures get way below freezing. Every time you take your mitten off to throw, you break the seal on your mitten, causing all that warm air you just stored up to escape. Next up, having a hot beverage like coffee, tea, or hot chocolate can just make your round a little bit more enjoyable. And last, but certainly not least, extra towels. Need I say more? And now you're ready to go out there and throw some discs, and hopefully not lose any to the snow. I'll see y'all 
and the next video.